<laughs> I think we got one of those wonky ones. Off we go to four floors down. <laughs> Harry's happy, we have food. It's been a few days since we recorded. We've just been getting a lot of stuff done with the condo. Um, we all caught a bit of a cold, so we're all having a little bit of a rundown moment. I still have a little bit of one, that's why my nose looks like it does. Um, but we're feeling like loads better. We went swimming yesterday, and today we are hopefully gonna go out into the city and explore one of the malls. <laughs> so, you may not have heard, but today marks the 100 days until Christmas. Um, we've seen a few Christmassy things up here and there, um, but not like a lot yet. We know Christmas starts on the 1st of September for the Philippines. So we're gonna hopefully go to the, this specific mall to see what it's gonna be like. Um, we've heard there's a few shops in there that we're quite interested in. Um, we're gonna go to the Glorietta Mall. We've been to Greenbelt. We haven't filmed there yet, but we can do. Um, because it's so beautiful and um, but we're gonna head over to the Glorietta mall there's like some art shops some bookshops apparently Kev said that there's a hawker house and um, which means like a big collection of street food vendors so that sounds like it's gonna be really cool and yeah we're gonna take you with us today and we're gonna get out into this glorious sunshine it's a good day today so that's really positive all right gotta put it all in your face <laughs> in your hair too. Yeah, maybe not in your hair. Or in your mouth. <laughs> so we have been slowly trying to fill up the house with bits here and there. We've been to, there's a Daiso literally right near us. And we also went to a 50 below, um, which is kind of like the equivalent of a UK pound shop. Um, and it had like really good stuff in it. So we got some plates. We got some cutlery, we got some pans to cook in. Sorry, the kids are being a little bit grumpy. Um, and we just got a few things like cups just to live with, just to kind of pad out what we already had because we didn't have any utensils or anything. Um, so we're gonna go out to the Glorietta Mall and um, maybe to find some extra bits for the home, but we don't wanna fill it up too much because if we move on after six months, um, then we're not gonna be able to take everything with us. Uh, but we do want to mainly go there because of all the really cool places we've heard about. Like I said, I think there's also a yarn shop. I crochet and I also paint a lot. Um, I can show you some stuff if you want. But um, that's what I love to do the most in my downtime. That's like my hobbies and um, my creative passions. Uh, other than filming and doing the YouTube, that's what we like. To, I like to do personally when I wind down. Elowen likes to do a lot of art as well. And um, so, if maybe we can find shops that kind of cover our hobbies and what we love to do, um, then that might be really fun. And I think Kev's after food, obviously. Um, and I would like to find mm, ice cream because it's so hot out there today. The sky is beautiful. The sun is shining. We've got a walk there. Um, so I may look like a sweaty mess in about 10 minutes time. I don't know how people walk around Manila and the Philippines and they look so amazing and I look horrible because I'm all red and blotchy. Um, if there's any tips for looking not sweaty when you're walking around in this heat, then let me know because I haven't found any yet. Um, so yeah, we're going to head off now and we're going to explore Glorietta Mall because we've heard so many cool things about it and hope to maybe see a Christmas tree as well. And I'll try and film that. <laughs> so, <in> my eyes. <laughs> Did you get it in your eyes? Yeah.
looks like the bus can go to Yeah, I think we need to find a drink first. It is hot. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Marks and Spencers! Whoop! Go UK! <laughs> We went to Serenity and got a lychee with yakult, yeah. although I don't know how that's going to be. And then we got a summer breeze fruit tea because we are very hot. It is very hot today. <laughs> I like that one. You're going to have some cookies now? Yes. Yeah. So we've got peanut butter, uh, fudge Bug. chocolate and s'mores and they look really good. Excited? Yeah. <laughs> Are they nice? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to try your choice? Yeah. Yeah, looks really good. Yeah. I'll try that bit. Looks like it's going to be a mess. I'll try that bit. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Taste any fudge. No. Is it good though? Yeah, it's just smothered in chocolate. It's good. <laughs> mm. 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 The peanut butter is definitely the best, I think. Yeah. Mm. So Kev's just trying to find, what was it called? The Hawker what? Hawker chain. Who's Who was to be... the first uh, street food to receive a Michelin star? Yeah, I think he does duck. Yes, and um, although I think these uh, restaurants now like a chain. Yeah. But it'd be really interesting because I remember when he came over to London, and it, the queues were hours long yeah. for it. So it'd be quite cool to try. So we're on the hunt for that. <laughs> So we're in the Hawker, uh, Hawker Chan's restaurant now. I've just ordered two of the world's cheapest uh, Michelin meal. So it was 168 pesos, which is around two pound fifty eight pound in UK currency, which is again the world's cheapest Michelin meal. So it'd be interesting to try it. Yeah. So it's soya chicken with rice. And I don't know what else it comes with. We'll have to see. <laughs> so you've got your famous soya chicken, you got your rice, corn crackers, and I don't know what these are. Beans? Beans? With fried beans? Uh, uh, they look like beans. Cold? Cold. No. Huh. It looks really dark, doesn't it? Mm. We ended up getting extra prawn crackers because somebody ate all of them, didn't you? It's yeah. Yeah, he ate all the prawn crackers, so we ordered a couple of bowls more, and they were only 45 pesos each. Uh, so 90 pesos in total, which is around a pound 20, one pound 15, maybe a little bit more. So that's really good. But yeah, so far it's really nice, nearly clean plates. So we're out of Glorietta Mall and actually it's so, so close to one called Landmark and then Greenbelt is just further down. So they all seem to be pretty much within the same area. 
um, which is really cool. So we're actually going to go pop into the landmark now and have a little look round. Uh, but it's very busy and very hot. <laughs> So there's a lot of stationary stuff in this one, in the landmark, um, but no actual art supplies, so still on the hunt, but some really interesting, cool things. Lots of Chinese things ready for the Mid-Autumn Festival. And also let's find a friend. Have you found a friend? No. Aww. Is it a sloth? Is that a sloth? I think it is. Oh, oh what a melon. Yummy. Um, Oslo is a oh my god i forgot i know you're the monkey I, there's um, no monkey. harry's a rabbit and i think oslo's either a rat, a rat. or a pig a oh it's up there so we're just gonna hop over now to the green belt mall we've just gone through landsmark and that was really cool. There was a lot of stationery in there that was really nice. Uh, we have been to Greenbelt twice before, uh, just to get food and stuff, because it's very close to where we are staying. Um, but we thought we'd vlog it and show you guys just how beautiful the Greenbelt Mall really is. It is my favorite mall I've ever been to. Um, and not because of the shops, because if I could afford to shop at the Greenbelt, I'd be very, very happy. <laughs> Um, but I can't so hopefully you can hear me because it's very traffic -y and I've got my mask on but the Greenbelt Mall she's a beauty um, it's a very beautiful place to go even if you can't afford anything like we can't <laughs> it's very nice and the food options are really cool as well so we're gonna have a look around one more time at the Greenbelt today and make it our third mall of the day Greenbelt definitely wins at being one of the prettiest malls I think we've ever been to. There's a ton of areas, I think it's broken up into five sections, very similar to Glorietta, but to me, Glorietta was a maze. That, is, that was hard to get around. We did ask a lot of help from a lot of guards and a lot of people just to try and find our way around because it was very maze-like for us. Um, if Filipinos that live in the UK are watching, then you'll know that English malls are nothing like they are here. They're very big, they are very grand, but there is a lot of different areas. So Greenbelt is made up of five, and I think Glorietta was made up of four. Yeah, so they're very big. Like, we thought the Mall of Asia was big, but actually it feels like these malls are bigger. But I think it's just because there's a lot more to them, there's a lot more to walk to, basically. Um, but yeah, it's really beautiful in the middle of Greenbelt. You've got this really luscious green space and there's also a chapel as well, which we came here on Sunday and watched everybody uh, come to mass or come to come to church. Um, I don't know what it, the correct term is. And that was really beautiful to see everybody um, in like in their kind of community spirit coming to church. It was really beautiful to watch. And um, we're going to head to Wildflower and pick up some sourdough for tea 
um, because their bread is spectacular and we'll show you the inside of it, it's amazing. <laughs> So we got some sourdough. It's really, really tasty from Wildflowers and their pastries were delightful looking today. We have tried them, but today we just wanted to get some bread because uh, tomorrow we're hoping to go to a market instead. But yeah, really nice. didn't win any tickets so it turns out we're really bad at arcade games and um, we won a few tickets but not enough to win a prize so now we're all sad because we didn't get a prize but we can always come back because the tickets stay on the card which is cool um, but the kids really like time zone just uh, be aware that children get sad when they don't win prizes <laughs> we are back from our mall hopping tour we ended up doing three in total uh, we went to Glorietta. We also went to Landmark, which for me was more of like a department store. Um, if you are from the UK, like Debenhams or House of Fraser are very similar to Landmark. And then you had Greenbelt at the end, which is by far one of our favorites. If you're in the Makati area and you're gonna be going around that, it's definitely doable to go to all of the malls at once. I believe there was probably a couple more, but I don't know if we had uh, enough time to see all of them. Uh, we have heard of the Power Plant Mall in Rockwell, which looks really cool. And that is where the art shop I wanted actually is. I didn't really manage to find many places that sell um, art supplies, like paints and things like that. If there are any suggestions out there for Makati art shops, please let me know. Um, I was also after some like yarn shops to crochet um, clothes with, because I love doing that as well. And there was a place called, was it called Delightful Yarn? Something like that. Delightful yarn and it was meant to be in Glorietta but Kev said he um, looked online and it had been closed for quite a while so that's a shame as well because um, I was really looking forward to seeing um, kind of more crafty shops. I did find one in Greenbelt but it was quite small and there wasn't like a load of choice um, so we're excited to try and keep going and exploring more shopping malls to find those sorts of places. Um, Glorietta did have quite a lot of sole trading shops, so a lot of not many brands. Um, there was a lot more um, diversity, there was a lot more choice, and the food court was amazing. Um, I'm sad we didn't get to eat too much, but we did have the cookies from Mo, and they were so good. Um, and then we went to the Hawker House, um, and that was really nice to try for lunch. And then we just grabbed some bread from Wildflower and came home. I also, <laughs> we did pick up some naughties from one of the shops that is from the UK, which is so cool. And we had to get some of our favorites. Now, I can't believe I found these here in Makati. You guys are always recommending things for us to do and try. Now we have one for you. If you ever stop by a Marks and Spencers from the UK, it's a London shop, um, please grab a bag of Percy Pigs. They are quite expensive here because they're imported. They're amazing. They're so good. They're some of our favorite sweets ever. Um, and we used to have them all the time at home. 
so we can give you that one recommendation um but we really really enjoyed our time out today the weather was so beautiful we were really lucky today and it was just really fun seeing how different all the malls are i'm really interested in checking out the power plant one that looks really cool as well um, but for now we are going to rest and until the next video we will see you then we hope you enjoyed this one guys thank you so much and we will see you in the next one bye, bye. bye.